you hit the nail on the head right there when you talk about Trump focusing on these important issues like North Korea and opioids today. You know, Republicans on the Hill have been a little worried in recent weeks that Trump is getting a little distracted by the inner party or the, the fighting in the White House and focusing on the Russia investigation, which he's very frustrated over. They want him to focus on issues just like this. We talk to Republicans on the Hill publicly. They say they want to tackle a repeal and replace again next year, but privately they acknowledge that it's about as likely as the Browns winning the Super Bowl. Republicans control both houses of Congress, you know, so cutting out leadership is not the smartest thing for the president at this point in time. At least Republicans will tell you that. The administration and the president trying to deny that there is this tension with Tillerson is kind of like a kid uh, with chocolate all over his face denying that he's been, you know, sneaking around in the cookie jar, right? McConnell is not in any immediate jeopardy. However, there's sort of this rising anti-McConnell fever right now that he, uh, it could really be a problem for him in the future. Um, technically speaking, only Senate Republicans can boot him from that leadership position. I am told by a number of House Republicans that they had been trying to get Mattis on this issue for a while. They've been calling him. He hadn't been calling back. And when he finally called back last week, week, he said, give me space to maneuver on this that affects between 2,000 to 15,000 active military personnel. Uh, he wanted to think about this for a time and figure out the best policy to move forward. The president says, you know, he wants to work with Democrats on a whole host of issues. And he does. He does a little flirting with them, has them over the White House, a Chinese food with Chuck and Nancy. And then he comes out and he blasts them on Twitter. And so he's trying to do this really awkward dance right now where mm -hmm. he has to work with Republicans, but then he's He's siding with Bannon and against the establishment. He wants to work with Democrats, and then he attacks them. On the one hand, a lot of them are just as upset as Trump about these leaks. Um, they find them to be a distraction from talking about their agenda. They're at press conferences talking about bills they're working on regarding veterans, and reporters are raising their hands and saying, what do you think about this latest leak? This from my point on Capitol Hill, there used to be sort of this Machiavellian effect with Trump where Republican lawmakers were afraid to criticize him because they were afraid it would hurt their own poll numbers. Now, as his popularity has declined slightly, I'm seeing a lot more Republicans criticize him on the Hill.